The fourth key to good pool care is water testing. Out of all the five keys to pool care, water testing is the most neglected out of the five keys. And it's most neglected because what, what most people tend to do is they look at their pool, they see that it's clean, they see that it's clear, it's blue, it smells nice, so if the water's clear, it must be perfect. Oftentimes, that's the farthest thing from the truth. Testing is simple. It, it typically takes less than a minute's time. Testing is also simple because you really need to do it once each week. If you want, twice a week is really good. If the pool is getting a lot of usage, you may want to do that to a daily test. It doesn't hurt. Most commercial pools or condominium pools or club pools, they must be tested by law multiple times during the day because of their usage. So a simple test is going to save you a tremendous amount of time and aggravation as you go along. What you want to test in your, in your weekly doing are two things. The sanitizer, and that's your chlorine, bromine, baguanide level. Baguanide means either Baclacil or BioGuard Soft Swim or Christine Blue. Even more important than the sanitizer, to a degree, is the water balance, and especially the, the pH of the water and the total alkalinity. The total alkalinity helps to buffer and support the pH. So if your total alkalinity is very low all the time, you will have a, a, a difficult problem trying to maintain a good solid pH of 7.4 to 7.6. If your total alkalinity is high, you'll run into the problem where you just can't keep your pH in the proper range because it wants to drift up. Got three simple testing measures to show you. First one, simple test strip, dip it in the water, pull it out, match the key on the side against the colors, get your your values and make the adjustments as needed. Increase the pH or decrease the pH in small increments. A second way is the, we're going to call it the traditional way of testing. A test kit such as this, this one happens to use the, the DPD method of chlorine or bromine testing. DPD testing is, is more, um, it is a more true test of what the sanitizer level is, and mainly because you can read what the total chlorine is or the total amount of chlorine or bromine is in the water as opposed to what is bound up. What you're looking for are a test of equal free chlorine and total chlorine, pH, and uh, you can also do a al total alkalinity test with this, with this kit as well. A newer testing device is the True Test from AccuCheck. This is a terrific little digital um, water test. Dip your strip in, put it in the analyzer, and get your get your results digitally. This is really good for those of us who may have a problem matching colors. It's simple. It's easy. It's effective. It gives you the right the right numbers. A couple things to keep in mind. Low pH problems are going to give you, are going to cause you to use a lot of sanitizer. When the pH is low, you'll go through chlorine or bromine very quickly. You'll also have very clear water. Sometimes it gets so clear and you're going through so much chlorine that you'll actually cause hair to turn green, especially those of you who may have blonde or white colored hair. High pH problems will tend to be the chlorine or, or bromine or the sanitizer working more slowly, which will then lead to cloudy water because of the buildup of bacteria and the eventual algae growth. Mainly what you want to do is, as we said, test the water weekly and then monthly do additional tests for calcium hardness. That's 
measure of how hard the water is. Cyanuric acid. Cyanuric acid is a measure of the stabilizer of the water. Only if you're using chlorine. If you're using bromine, do not worry about the cyanuric acid. You cannot stabilize bromine. The third thing which should be tested for monthly are metals. Metals such as iron and copper. You want to keep a check on those to prevent and eliminate possible staining of the pool surfaces. Our recommendation is to have your water tested on a monthly basis in a professional pool store. If you're local to us, we'd love to see you. Grab a water sample, just fill up a, a baggie or a, a, a clean water bottle, bring it down, let us test it professionally. Not only will we test it, but we'll also analyze it to really find out whatever problems you might have. If you're using chlorine, another test that you may want to do, is, especially if you're running into a problem where you seem to be using a lot of chlorine, or almost too much chlorine, ask to have a chlorine demand test done. Oftentimes with regular testing, you may see that there's a small difference between the, the total chlorine and the free chlorine, which we want to eliminate, but the chlorine demand test will go beyond that. Chlorine demand test will tell actually how much chlorine has to be added in order to satisfy the demand and make life easier for you. you can, if you're out of the area, feel free to send us a water sample. Instructions are at our website for doing that. Use a good quality water testing device or a test kit. On a regular basis, change your testing reagents. I can't tell you how many customers use their, their testing strips or the testing reagent for year upon year upon year, and then they wonder why they're getting inaccurate results. So just do a, a new set of reagents or test strips every season when you get started. Another testing tip would be to make sure that you store your test kits or your reagents in a cool, dry place. Do not leave them out in the sun. Do not store them with your, with your chlorine or other chemicals. It will harm the reagent and give you inaccurate readings. That's it for, for water testing. It's part of the five keys. For more information, remember you can go to our website at parpools.com forward slash five keys or parpools.com forward slash pool care. Enjoy the pool.